Yo, boys, what is going on? Happy Sunday morning. It's a Sunday morning, man. We got a good upload this morning um, for you guys. It's going to be one that I think will help a lot of you guys understand a concept or make coins. It's another method slash trading thing. And the way I want to do these videos, man, is I kind of just want to start off and show you guys where I'm at, how I'm doing certain things on my ultimate team um, with the trading because I do overnight trades and I just want you guys at the time as we progress the content for this week, you guys understand some basic trading. Then we move on into some market and some more menu stuff. And you already have the concepts from this week. If you guys enjoyed the video today, thumbs up is appreciated. Thank you guys for the crazy support um, on the Twitch streams. And then obviously on the videos over here, man. I love seeing the comments. You guys are all over the place. And appreciate that, man. It, it does show me that you guys like the video. So I guess that's, that's cool, right? So... Today, guys, we're going to be talking about making tons of coins uh, with this certain method, and this would be um, a method of patience, right? You're going to need patience with this method, but I think it's very, I think it's very, very profitable. So I do want to show it to you guys. We're going to show it to you guys within a few minutes of the video because I do want to start off and show you guys a few of the trades, a few of the flips, a few of the things I'm doing at the moment, and then we'll move on and you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, man. Happy Sunday as well. It's a Sunday, so we're two days away from having full access to the game. Um, as you guys know, I do not have full access to the game. I'm not a game changer. Um, I say it how it is um, and all that with FIFA. So I don't get invited to EA things and I don't get EA, uh, EA benefits. It's kind of crazy um, because of, you know, the support you guys give me and, and, the, and the people that watch the streams that we don't have the copy. Um, but hey, you know what? We're, we're doing just fine without it. So thank you guys, man. I'm holding your guys' hand. I'm right with you guys. I'm, 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 I'm the same as all of you. I don't have a game. So we, we, have to, we have to do what we have to do for these few days to get some good content out for you guys and to grind, man. This, this first week of FIFA, man, is always a grind uh, in terms of coins, man. That's usually all I'm uploading is just trading because I know at this point in time, that's all I'm actually doing. So why would I upload anything else that's not trading? Also, really quick plug, second channel, guys, if you want to check it out, man, I've already started to upload now. We've got my starter team with some highlights and then we've got a Son and a Lucas review, basically the way I run the second channel. As long as I, I, every time I can try to get some gameplay or review up, I try to do it. Just want to have a quick free 10 minutes and I'm feeling good. Um, so that's awesome. So let's get into the video, man. No more BS and let's start talking. So here we go with the web app. I got 43K and you know what? I don't have my headphones on. I need my headphones on. So I'm also looking real pale this morning. Wow, I got to get outside. Um, 43,000 coins, guys, is what we got. We actually have two gifts real quick. We got a hazard and a, and a little thing there. Hazard's going to be nice. So in terms of the sales, man, I want to show you guys some of the things that I do overnight. Um, and I want to walk you guys through times that I bought some of these cards, et cetera, et cetera. So these were some sales. Every sale you're going to see is about a thousand coins each. That's kind of where I'm at right now. But let's take a look, man. And I do want to show you guys like Delaney, for example. So I bought Delaney about 12 hours ago because team of the week consistently just kind of goes up, um, especially the meta ones. They just continue to rise and rise and rise. So let me take a look at Delaney's price real quick um to give you guys like i'm gonna look at that neuer at 161 if i get the coins because he was like 180 last night so delaney guys right now it looks like he i bought him i bought these at 49 or 50 53 53 5 56 5 so he's 56 5 these are just undercuts um and then you can see the xbox trailing a price so eventually i think xbox will go up but 57k is where you're at right now so what i'll do is i'll list him right up for 57k right at that price tax here is about 2500 coins so we're going to make about 5K on each Delaney, um, which is really good. You guys got to understand, man, 5K at this point in FIFA is fantastic, man. It's so good. So we also picked up a Tammy Abraham. I just love trading with Team of the Week. I feel like if you have some coins, it's a really good thing to trade with. We bought this Tammy at 12,500, and now he's about 1,500. So 1,500? 15,000. So we'll list them at 15,250. Now, yesterday I took a little bit of a risk. I bought a Brant just because um, Habert started going up a lot. But to be honest, it didn't really work out too much. So we'll kind of list them at 22,750. Uh, again, we've got some lazy deniers, which will continue to lazy list some parties. Uh, we do have to check Lindelof. Now, the reason why I bought Lindelof, guys, was my method that I talked about with you guys yesterday. The method is that when you see other players in a league rising at the same position, usually uh, the trend does follow with more players. So I'm going to just relist these because these are all at good prices at the moment. I'm happy to sell those. And then I bought a few overnight cards, man. Just trying to see if I get some quick sales. Um, the Costa Klosterman should be pretty good. Uh, this guy I think is about 4K because right now, and Babu's extinct. That we're gonna talk about exactly, 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 exactly what I'm talking about with the extinct players, man. You guys gotta understand how this stuff works, and it's gonna be profitable. This trading method I'm gonna show you guys today. 
I think it's gonna be really good for the first week. Saravia, I bought at 6K. I think that's pretty solid. Uh, looks like he's about 7.5, so that's a nice pickup. We'll sell him for about 7.3. All these, all these guys are at least like 800, you know, 800 coins. Now, I'm always a big believer that if you don't need coins on the spot, just kind of do a little bit of a lazy list. That's like my biggest belief uh, with trading and with investing. If you don't need coins on the spot, just do a little bit of a lazy list. All right, so for some reason, I bought a lot of Zakaria. Zakaria? I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but bought a lot of this guy last night. 6.4 is where he's at right now. 6.5. That might be actually a good deal. 6.6. .6. All right, so this guy last night was just lurking on the market, just chilling at like 6. Point, I think it was 6.2. I'm not sure the exact price. Let me double check. Yeah, 6.2. So you guys can see right now <clears throat> that he is 6.8. But this guy hit 7.1 yesterday. So I'm kind of thinking, boys, that this is not a bad time to get out and make some money on Zakaria. Zakaria? Zakaria? <laughs> Dude, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I'm clueless. So we'll go ahead. We'll take some money on him. And, uh, and we'll list it up. You know what I started training with yesterday? It's really interesting, guys. Um, and I want to show you guys this real quick before because I, I got to talk about this video with you guys today uh, Because like it's a video that you guys got to know but I started trading today last night with uh, Well tyranny I have as well. That's pretty good uh, Silvers man. I started trading with some silvers dude. I never trade with silvers, but this stuff looked pretty fun to trade with So I started picking them up. I bought some st. Juice days for like four six um, And I bought like a Daniel James for five eight. I, I'm just trying to trade with different cards man I'm Trying to have some fun this year with the trading man. Not not like not go too hard with myself because sometimes I'm just like I'm in a zone and I won't stop so I gotta not do that this year so yeah also another thing about the web app guys I don't know if you guys noticed that it like refreshes your sales now which is really nice didn't have that last year okay so what are we doing today guys the, the point of the video we are gonna show you guys a way that you can make a ton of coins and this is gonna be through sniping extinct players so what you guys should do there's two ways to do this trading method EA have been really really quick this year with the price range updates which is very good thank you EA um, because last year they took them like a week to do price ranges this year They're doing them in a day or two now There's a few that have been lacking and not really updated too quick But for the most part EA sports uh, has been doing a really good job this year of updating price ranges So how do you know, you know when a player is going extinct? Um, let me try to give you guys an example of Two things right of, of a player that would be decent to to snipe. All right, first of all I'll just show you my trench list. So yesterday and Baba was like 9.4 K Okay, let me show let me show you I probably bought 8.9 K see these some of them 9.7. Some of them I ended up buying when he was extinct. Right now, if you look on the market, all right, he's like extinct. He's popping up. So I'm not saying to buy Mbabu because I don't think Mbabu is a really great one. I just kind of bought him because I was bored. But he was like 9K and he's being used a lot. So you can tell that he's going to go extinct, right? And then he's going to get a price range update and then he'll probably grow in value. There's been a ton of players so far that have gone extinct. Resilient's one of them. And now Resilient, after his price range update, is about 22K. So they get this price range, they go down, and then they slowly go up. I'll give you guys another example of it. Havertz was a player that when he got his price range update, he was extinct, I think, at 10 or 20K. Then he went all the way, he dropped all the way down to 25K, and now he's back at 35. So you have this opportunity where you could try to quick sell it when the player gets the range update and he's really high. But this is a great way to make coins because with the price range updates or the non-updates, you guys can make tons of coins. And the way you guys can do it is I would go... Just get a filter that you guys can see if somebody's not on the market. Uh, so like 0 to 5K is probably really good. You could do popularity. Uh, let's go like 0 to 5K. Uh, let's go 0 to 5K. Let's do that. And then order by popularity. <clears throat> this is exactly what we want to do. No, we want to do... Sorry, sorry, sorry. We want to do uh, 5 to 10K. It's exactly where we want to be. So what you guys will see... Well, they don't show it now. I don't know if they got price range updates, but you guys can... You guys can look around flipping essentially. Like right now, I'm going to give you guys an example. Any Joao Felix that you guys snipe, now it's going to be hard, but any Felix that you guys snipe at the moment at 10,000 coins is double or triple your coins. This is a fantastic trading method because these cards pop up because people are opening packs. So like for me, Juan Bisaka, this guy is going to be like 30 or 40,000 coins. He's at a 10K max right now. So what you guys can do, spend a little bit of a, you know, a, a, you know, set out some time to go ahead and try to snipe these guys, man. You don't even have to put a max on Bisaka. You guys can just move the bid, uh, the bid, and see if you guys can win any of these. This is such a profitable way to make coins. I'm not even joking because this is going to keep happening for the next week with different players. Like right now, Usman Dembele is also extinct. I'm saying this for the first week in league. I really think Usman Dembele can hit 80 to 90K. 
that's almost double 50k. If you can snipe him at 50k, you're going to make bank. So to the guys that have a lot of coins, like, I can't... <laughs> See, I missed that one because I was slow. But that one right there, if I just snipe that and hold on to it, that's probably double my coins in less than a few days. Because EA is updating these price ranges almost every single day. So any player you can snipe right now that is extinct, I really genuinely feel like it is almost double your coins, if not triple. Um, now, is the sniping easy? No, the sniping is really damn hard. And that's why I would look at a player maybe that's a little bit more low-key, like an Mbabu, because the not a, not necessarily Mbabu, but a player that's not like Felix or Dembele. There's about seven to eight extinct players right now, but every single you know few days, there's a different seven to eight players. And that's the beauty of this trading method is that I feel like there's constantly a different group of players that's extinct. And my biggest tip to you guys would be to check out a player and see if they look like they're about to go extinct because that's the best way you can do it. If it's a meta player, they're hitting their max price range. Take a look at picking some up. That's what I did with Mbaba where I got some at 9 before he went to 10. So even with a price range update, even if he only goes to 11 or 12K, I know for me, I've still got the potential to make really big coins uh, on a guy like Mbaba potentially. That's just obviously a potential. But yeah, it's, it's a really good way to make coins, guys. I really genuinely feel that way. So make sure you guys are having, again, a group of players. If you guys do want to experiment with doing this method, I think it's very, very solid. Um... And I would use it because the thing is, if you guys can spend, let's say, for example, say in a general day of trading right now, you guys spent like an hour or two on 10 different players and you only made like 10K. If you spent an hour or two on this kind of group of players, like a filter, and you ended up sniping, let's say, two or three, that's way more money than the other two hours you spent. So it is a grind because you're not going to have a massive success rate with these cards at all. So that's the grind part of it. It's not easy to snipe these cards by any means um, because they are very extinct. They've been dinosaurs for days. Um, so people are going to obviously be all over them. But I'm telling you guys, man, it's just so rewarding, especially for the more, I would say, especially for the more in-demand players like Awan Bisaka, the second that he does pop up on the market, he's going to get snatched up quick. And that's how you know that he's going to keep going up because a lot of these guys, even Bisaka, not only are you sniping against other snipers, potentially or other traders, you're probably sniping this guy against people who actually want him in their teams. Because right now, you have a situation where if you look at the EPL right backs, um, Cancelo and... Let me double check this right now. Look at Premier League right backs. And let's go here. So Premier League... Is it just under English Premier League? I think it's under English, right? I don't even know. Where is the Premier League? Did I scroll past it? Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh my God, I can't do it. All right, here we go. So if you look at Premier League right backs, man, Cancelo is 60K, Walker's 80K, um, Trent is 24, Pereira is 16. So that should give you a price for Bisaka. I mean, I think he's at least 20, probably 15 at least, Bellerin at 12.5. So that's why that's a good look. You guys can also do it positionally, um, you know, with any other league. That's why I liked Mbabu in the Bundesliga because I felt like that was decent. But this can give you kind of a, a way to see it um, as you guys do it. You can almost like visualize and price predict ahead of time what the player is potentially going to be. So when this player doesn't work out, I suck, man. That was a really good one. And I spent just a, I spent a whole... I got to try to get one for you guys, man, just to show you guys. The thing is, man, I'm not that good on the web app with the sniping. Um, you can be really good on the web app. That's the thing. The web app can be really potentially profitable. The only thing the problem with the web app is, guys, and the sniping and the trading on the web app that I have to warn you guys about, there are many people uh, who do, like, you know, the shorting. There's like ways to do hotkeys. For me, all I have is an enter button. When I when I click the snipe button, I have an enter. But there are people that kind of set up short keys that don't even, I think, have to really move the mouse much, um, which is helpful. When you have that, I mean, obviously you have a big sniping advantage. But And then th what you would do, guys, with this kind of card, if you did snipe it or you did win it, you would hold on to it for a bit, wait for that price range update. And then when you get the price range update, you do a big undercut on the overall price range early to try to get the quick sale. And then obviously, if you can't, usually within a few hours of the price range update, the player starts to grow in value again. So just keep that in mind that you'll have a, you'll have a growth um, coming in with the player. So that's something that I would keep in mind, guys, as you guys, uh, you know, as you guys trade and as you guys keep up with uh, this kind of trading method. So right now, guys, I mean, yeah, do we sell? We sold the Zakaria. That was a CDM Zakaria. So yeah, I mean, right now there's a bunch of extinct players. I know for sure you've got Felix, um, you've got Usman Dembele. You have Mbabu. So you have all these players right now that you can snipe. You even have Team of the Weeks if you really want. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you snipe Mane or Mertens, you guys are going to make a ton of coins. Both of these guys and De Jong. De Jong get 120K. 
If you're a guy that opened a lot of FIFA points and you just have like a ton of coins, Mane, Mertens, De Jong, that's a really good look to go ahead and snipe right now. I have no problems with that. I think for you guys, that's that's brilliant. If you have the ability and the coins to go ahead and snipe guys like that, um, you, you have a lot of potential to make coins. And that's just, that's a big fact, guys. I, I cannot stress that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Any player right now, because of the inflation in the market that is extinct, will probably make you coins if you just have somewhat level of patience you gotta have a little bit of level level of patience but that's all you need and as you guys can see Dembele, felix those guys are good to snipe um at, at that zero thing and if you guys get any you're gonna make bank mendy's another one right and the reason why mendy is so good um is because if you look at like gold rare and then you go to positions left back and then you head over to la liga take a look at the prices of the other oh that's not whoops uh we gotta get la liga sunset there if you take a look at the other prices of the left backs, Marcelo 40k, Alba 80k almost, right? Mendy has to go at least to 25 to 30k, if not more. I would say I think Mendy's more in demand than uh, Marcelo this year, but that's that's my opinion. So yeah, man. I mean, I'm not gonna personally. I wouldn't really look at Mendy because I feel like Mendy probably has every man in the world sitting on that card. Um, this. Man, some of these guys, though, I'll tell you this with this method, man. It's a lot of patience. You need to have patience with this method. You guys are going to get real angry if you don't, if you miss a sniper or two. So try not to get angry. Just sit with it. And obviously, you guys can see through the five minutes that I've record, through I've showed you through recording this video that it is very hard to snipe these players. So it's it's not easy, man. It's not easy to snipe these players. You guys got to keep that in mind as you guys snipe and as you guys trade with them, man. 100%. You, gotta, you guys got to keep that in mind. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Hopefully it helps some of you guys, man. I know that you guys are always looking for ways to make coins. Um, tonight is squad battle reward, so you should see a lower uh, drop in some of the lower rated, but a high, an overall drop within the metas because people are going to get rewards and buy teams and things like that. You guys already know how that goes with you know reward sets and things like that. Thank you guys for clicking on my video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped. Sorry about the web app. We're almost on a console. Two days, boys. See you guys soon. Peace out.